Hey y'all, Irix guy here. And one of the things I like most about the Phantom 4 is the battery life, because I've only got one battery at the time of posting this. And I've been testing the heck out of it, and I'm only down to 50%. What I want to do now is perform a test to see if we can get, it's somewhat windy out here, to see if we can get the tilted horizon issue. The issue where the camera is not horizontal with the horizon. I think that should be fixed. Check the link within this video's description. You can find my uh, various posts on 400 or below.com. But I, I think performing the IMU calibration, I've got a video tutorial on that, coupled with the compass calibration, I think that's fixed me. But tell me what you think. Let's get this video started and let's see what kind of quality we can get here. Obviously, I'm not in sport mode or anything, but I am going to fly it kind of abruptly to see if we can get if we can get any tilt. Obviously, the safe and responsible altitude. So let's do some rapid descents. Let's do some close to the ground here. I'm getting the props in that shot. I can see that. So far, everything on my FPV view seems to be level. But again, I'm not in front of my editing computer, so there may be some issues that I don't see in real time that I may pick up when I edit. What's really impressive is how well this Phantom 4 handles wind. I think the wind performance is better than the, uh, than the Phantom 3 Pro. So that is an incentive if you're on the fence you know, should I go Phantom 4, should I go Phantom 3 Pro? This does seem to handle better in the wind. So, you know, another reason to go, obviously it's probably gonna cost more with the, for the Phantom 4, but it's just another reason to, uh, to consider Phantom 4 over Phantom 3 Pro. With that said, Phantom 3 Pro is one of the best drones on the market today, in my opinion. I feel the Phantom 4 is the best, but the Phantom 3 Pro is, I mean, they're neck and neck. And I'm basing that upon the fact that I don't, even though I admire that they included obstacle avoidance from a safety perspective, it's not something I'm concerned with because I fly line of sight uh, to be safe and responsible. So for me, that's of minimal value. Uh, but that is something you get with the Phantom 4 that you do not get with the Phantom 3 professional. Also the range, and that's something I don't test unless I'm over open ocean, uh, but the range of the Phantom 4 is supposed to be greatly superior to the uh, to the Phantom 3 Pro and by greatly I think it may be another mile or so which I mean is insane I mean unless you're over open ocean or somewhere it's, it's something that someone would never get benefit of okay I did a little jerk right there I'm gonna be curious to see if that camera jolted for us there's a dog over there let's go harass him I think the video stability is great. Tell me what you think. Be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash Irix Guy. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all. Irix Guy here. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel, and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership, and y'all have a good day.